All right after, after my after my second test drive, I discovered a rotational noise coming from somewhere in here, and I'm hoping it's a bad weld or something. Just uh, maybe the coupler isn't isn't running true. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Uh, so I'm going to take the motor down and inspect everything, and I think I'm going to do that bracket over um, that uh, adapter so-called da adapter plate I think we're going to do that over because I'm not too crazy about how that's looking but this is the noise that it's making if you, I think you can see the transmission moving so that definitely shows that something's out of round so I'm going to take it all apart and uh, hopefully fix what's going on there and then order the batteries in the controller okay I took the motor out and uh, and I repositioned um, this coupler situation what I did was bolted it onto the shaft temporarily and I'm gonna tack weld it in place and then take it off and finish welding it it looks like it's running straight now and I think I'm happy with this uh, I'm gonna go with yeah that looks like it's running straight So this is what I'm going to go with. So if I can tack weld it without it moving and take it off and then finish welding it all the way around, I should be good to go. I'll put it back in the car. Okay, I'm going to make a new uh, bracket for the motor. I got the motor uh, temporarily uh, suspended in here uh, with the, uh, can you see that? With the um, coupling all welded up and uh, that's all fitting in there really nice. And I'm going to make a new bracket to hold it to the transmission. This time I'm going to use flat steel, all flat steel. And I'm going to use uh, some quarter inch and some 3 8 inch to make it a total of uh, what 5 8 something like that uh, because I measured exactly a half inch from the motor shaft to the spline shaft exactly a half inch from the from the uh, edge of the bell housing to the to the um, face of the uh, motor and I'm going to give it an extra eighth of an inch so I don't put any pressure on the motor shaft. goofy but uh, it's strong and it will hold 
So get this done and we get it back in. I tested the motor with the um, tested the motor with the uh, the new weld on the coupler and it's turning really straight. I'm really happy about that. So just need to get the bracket up there, finish well on the bracket and um, and then I'll be done with the uh, motor installation and I can move on to the next thing. Beautiful, beautiful. 